Hey everybody, it is Wednesday night and I was going to shoot some underwater video, in fact I did shoot some underwater video, and I was hoping to get the sculpins that I've got in this tank, I've got some modeled sculpins that I caught down my local stream, and they're really interesting fish and I was hoping to get some of them on video, but as I was setting the camera up it began to occur to me that I don't really remember seeing any of the sculpins out and about over the last several days, or come to think of it, I don't really remember the last time I saw uh, the sculpins out and about. And so, when I put the camera in there, I thought we'd be able to get a little bit of the sculpins on video, and it turns out that we didn't really get a whole lot of usable footage. I got a bunch of guppies swimming around, and some odds and ends, you know, different fish poking at the substrate. But it wasn't until very, you know, 15 minutes in, I finally saw one of the sculpins in there. And it didn't look like it was doing all that good. So, not really sure what is going on with the modeled sculpins in this tank. But all of that video footage and sorting through it and everything uh, amounted to nothing. So, I did want to still shoot some kind of video today. I like to do at least a little bit of video every day. So, tonight we're going to get a little brief update on what I've got going on here in the fish room. Uh, this being part of it, I just got done discussing uh, that, my uh, discovery of my sculpins. I'm also beginning to realize that my lighting on this uh, waterfall tank is just too much. I kind of knew it was going to be, but I hoped the plants would adjust and I hoped they would do well and thrive under that really, really intense lighting, but they're just not. You can see how sort of small and compacted all of this stuff is this is um type of stone crop i've got my aphid problems which is giving me issues with all these um my juta is not growing well but all in all i'm getting burning on the leaves here they're not really doing well you can see sort of the spots my creeping jenny here is all that reddish color and brown leaves and shriveled you know it's just it's it's way too much light i think and i i'm not sure whether i should start rethinking the lighting or leave it as it is and maybe start rethinking the whole thing because i'm probably going to wind up redoing this sometime this summer anyway you know maybe at the end of the summer that'll be my next you know early winters project so I'm not really sure what to do with that. Again, just kind of thinking out loud here. wasn't really expecting to be shooting any kind of video about this stuff. But that is something that's been rolling around in my head over the last few days is reconsidering the lighting on this tank. Again, I'm using this uh, LED. It's got a couple of Cree cobs in there, a cob being chip on board. And it's basically a small board that's got lots and lots and lots of diodes on it. And so you wind up getting this really, really intense light. And that's what we've got going on here. So moving on from the waterfall tank, I just did kind of an update on that one the other day. The other thing I've got going on, I'm going to try to get to this tonight, but I really don't think I'm going to have time to, is my gudgeon tank. And I'm currently treating it for the cyanobacteria uh, or the blue-green algae, as a lot of people call it. It's not actually algae, but it's often referred to as blue-green algae or sometimes slime algae. And I'm not sure what kind of an impact we're having. We're definitely having some sort of an impact. If we look in here, like if you see, I know it's kind of hard to see through the grunge on the glass, but if you see this frond right here, see how it's bright green on the tip? That's because all of that green matting has sort of broken off and come loose. Let's see if we can get a little better look in here. If I reach in, I should be able to just grab sheets of this stuff and just peel it right off of the leaf. So that's not actually the leaf, that's just what was growing on it. So let's come back out here, have a look at that. Again, that's not leaf, that is, look, it'll, see how easily it tears apart? That's just algae or cyanobacteria or whatever that stuff is. And I'm hoping the fact that it's coming off in sheets like that, you can see a lot of these nice bright green leaves in here are a result of that. I've actually gone through here and hand-picked out 
a few of these that I found sort of floating around in the tank. One of them was laying down on the bottom, and I thought it was my gudgeon that was dead. And I was quite happy that it was not. It was just one of these things. So that is probably something I'm going to get in here and do tonight. Uh, water change. And then while I'm, you know, in there with the siphon, I'll go ahead and knock a bunch of this stuff loose and see if I can't uh, get it all sort of scraped up and out of the tank and physically remove it. And then when I'm done the water change, I will go ahead and retreat the tank a second time with the chemi clean you can kind of see right here see how bright green that is in the middle that doesn't look dead to me yet all of this sort of sheet of it clearly looks like it's dying and pulling up off of the sand in the bottom so it's working it's having its desired effect if you look back here you can see some really bright green um, java fern that's again because this nasty stuff here has died and come off of it so that's going to be my goal for tonight not really going to do a, a before and after video or anything like that uh, as I said, I was expecting to just throw a camera in a tank and then do some video that way. I uh, didn't really have time to do a whole lot of other stuff tonight. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss anything I got coming up. I will be doing more video of this tank once we get it cleaned out and sorted out and all of that good stuff. And you don't want to miss any of that. So don't forget this one here is my uh, Purple Spotted Gudgeon Tank. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you real soon on the next one.